Samba de paixão, então é pro samba mais bicho, bro. Everybody, it's your girl Carol Cast for the Girls Mafugati, and welcome back to High Season Two Diary Room episodes. I'd like to introduce Lesedi Matsunyane Ferguson. Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. That's great. All right. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be playing a little game with you. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions in a few minutes. Are you ready for this? All right, it's let's gonna go. Be a little fun. Okay. Okay. So, if you were to introduce yourself in one sentence, what would you say? Who are you? I am Sidi and I am a storyteller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Storyteller. Storyteller. It, it fits every medium and every aspect. Mm -hmm. I perform. Mm -hmm. I also work behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I sing. Mm -hmm. um, I used to dance. Mm -hmm. I don't do that now anymore. Really? Injury. Oh, Injury and age. Um, yeah. the, the new kid moves. Wow. But being a person who does it all, literally, like mm. I said, you're a jack of all trades. What does your daily life routine look like on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, right now, I'm actually in my sabbatical mode. So mm -hmm. I haven't really been doing much. But mm -hmm. my day, let's take it back a year ago, for example, mm -hmm. my day, also adding to many hats, I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. So um, I would drop my son off at school, get him ready mm -hmm. for school, drop him off. Then I'd go to set. Yeah. From set, I would then, you know, do my casting work or whatever else needed to be mm. done. And I was also an assistant production manager. So I was also in production. Mm -hmm. um, and that would be for majority of the day during my lunch hour, yeah. I would drive and go fetch my son and drop him off at home, then come back to sit yeah. and then finish off my day um, until wrap. And then obviously come back home. Mm. If there's anything that needs to be done while I'm at home, mm. I'll work from my computer. Currently now, a lot of the stuff I've been doing is on my computer. Yeah. Or even on my phone. As long as I have data, I'm cool. Mm. Um, and also just being a full-time mom. Um, yeah. Then on other random days, I will throw in creating content yeah. for, be it just for myself or if I'm doing an event, I like curating a vibe on mm. my page. Mm. Like yeah, if I'm at an that. event yeah. um, and also just playing with a lot of different looks. Mm. Um, I never thought I was going to be that person, but I'm really mm. enjoying that. Mm. So yeah, it, it's, it, it differs from, from day to day, but there, there will always be some form of driving and mm -hmm. so, I'll always be in one place or, or another. Yeah. How do you not get stressed? Like, I'm a high functioning stressful person. Yeah. Yeah. You work on stress. I love that. Yeah. It it's not stressed. a good thing. Yeah. Please it never. Is. No, 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 yeah. no. It's okay to be stressed a little bit, but mm. when you get used to the stress, it, mm, I hear you. Which I is why you. I'm on the sabbatical that I'm at, I I'm at right you. now. I needed to just kind of take a moment to go, I need to Whoa. Breathe, and, and then just breathe and rest, no. enjoy my sleep, mm. you know. Um, but that was the, the type of lifestyle that I was mm. in proper every day for a good six and a half to seven years. So mm. now kind of being a, in a little bit more of a restful stage, it's nice. But then it's also like, am I being productive? Mm. So it's a huge mm. mental challenge yeah. on top of that. But mm. um, I, I'm learning to trust the process. Interesting. Yeah, and just, you know, see, see it through. I like that. Guys, just take notes. That <laughs> means a break sometimes is needed. You don't have to put too much pressure on yourself, which I love. Um, yeah, because if you're not going to take a break, your body will take a break for you. Sure. And it'll be at the moment that you really need it to perform the most. Mm -hmm. And the universe has a very dark sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I've learned that a few times. Mm -hmm. So I've now learned to just go, okay, if my body's telling me this, perhaps I should just... Mm -hmm. I hear you. Yeah. And before, like when I'm really, really needed to go and then all of a sudden, pichu, I can't do anything if I'm yeah. in hospital. Ish. I can't do anything That's if I'm true. having a panic attack. No, I don't. am literally paralyzed and I never want to feel that way again. No. So I have to be able to listen to my body and my mind. No. Now, obviously, I know that many of the roles that you are in right now in mm. occupations are in the entertainment industry. So 100%. this question, I'm just going to base it in entertainment industry. And the question is... What do you love most about the entertainment industry? What is it that you look at and you're like, I'm happy to be a part of this. If somebody else is out there wanting to be an actor, you can do more. What is it about this industry that's like, come come the side, you know? Um, Man, I think the entertainment industry is so tricky because it always shows this glitz and glamour mm. of if I perform or if I'm an actor, then I'm famous and all mm. these things. And I mean, yeah, it does come with its perks. Don't mm. get me wrong. But I think what is 
rewarding about it is you always get to see it evolve. Yeah. It's forever changing. What we saw 20 years ago in our childhood is very different to what we're seeing now. Um, and just seeing some of the stories that are being told in different ways, appealing to different markets, and just knowing that it, there's such an array of content that mm. is out there for the audience to consume. Mm. Um, and it really can take on a life of its own. It's its its, it's, its own sentient yeah. being. Um, so being able to witness that change and also in a way being a part of that change is really cool. What do you wish to see in the next five years when it comes to industry, especially being a casting director? You could maybe also speak on that, that it's been casting director, I hope, you know. I would want to see more stories being told that are very different, that Mm. are a little bit gritty, a little bit cutting edge. Mm. I feel like we've gotten a bit comfortable in some of the stories that we've told Mm. and that's not a bad thing but I do wish that there is a little bit more room for change and I'd like to Mm. see that change in the next couple of years via some of the movies or series that we end up watching that is a little bit different to what our uh, Mm -hmm. market Mm -hmm. is accustomed to Um, I'd want to see that I'd want to see actors being paid their worth Mm. I'd want to see actors and producers Mm. and even crew get royalties from the work that they've done and actually be able to build a sustainable career in the entertainment industry because it's not at this current moment in time okay now we're gonna move into stuff a little more fun we're gonna find out more about who is (laughs) who is city what are you about what do you like you know just for people out there who like you just to know a little something about you all right, so what is your favorite color? Let's start there. I see I'm wearing it right now. Like, okay, black. I was about to see. I see you have an Anyone who lens. knows me, yeah. anyone who follows me yeah. knows black I love that is my brand. Yeah. I even got, I think I was at an event the one time yeah. and someone that I hadn't seen in years is like, dog, you're still wearing black. I'm like, yeah. oh. Literally, hundred percent. Black is my brand. It's always been my brand. Yeah. I know, like you said, you're a dancer, so I'm sure you listen to a lot of music. I and do. Now, this question is going to be on two genres. Okay. And which one's your favorite between R and B and hip hop? R and B immediately. <gasps> immediately, I like That's things that make it. you feel. Yeah. And don't yeah. get me wrong, I love hip hop, but R and B for me takes the cake. It's I love love. Puts you through emotions. It makes you feel the music. I love love. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Chocolate or ice cream? How about ice cream with chocolate inside? Hmm. That could work. That could work. I like that. No, but that more means... ice cream than chocolate, definitely. But okay. chocolate, yeah. There has to be... Does that mean no, like, I love ice cream, like but that. for example, cookies and cream? Yeah. Oh my God. That's my stuff. Yeah. I love that. It was lovely inter- interviewing you. Oh, thank I you for having me. I enjoyed this. I learned a lot as well with the information that you shared, being on a break, taking gratitude of things. And yeah. You know, just... Being you all the time, just appreciate it. Trust me, there's no other person you can be. I mean, Mm. even as an actor, you still have to be yourself and Mm. know who you are. Mm. Um, Because that's who you present on a daily basis. Even on set, before they call action, you are yourself. So you have to be yourself. You have to know who you are because there's no one else who can do you better Mm. than you. Mm. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. 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 Y